Start like with a question, or you just want to start start with introducing yourself? Or no? Okay. I'll, I, I'm I'm think that we need to introduce him. Okay, guys. Like, uh, it's kind of a bit different being in a team that you probably work throughout the whole year, and with your the team that speak the same language, your native language, and now you're in the mixed team tournament that is going to start the day after tomorrow. So how your preparation team now are going, how you get along in your team, having a fact that you're coming, coming from different countries and different, different cultural backgrounds? Uh, well, I'll start, I guess, then. Um, I'm from America, and in America, generally, we have the assumption that people from other cultures aren't usually able to speak English as well as we are. But then uh, one thing I was surprised about as I was uh, preparing with my mixed teams is that generally other people, as long as they try to learn the language, or the actually my teammates here, um, they're actually just as good as we are at English. Like it's it's not so much that about the accent or anything, but it's just more that as long as we're able to communicate, I think that we can get along perfectly fine. Generally, when I think of Slovakia first, I think, okay, there's are people from far away where it's too cold and everything, you know, you don't really have much information about them, you know, they have this nice, unique accent of theirs, but with debates being what's on the table now, we're being united, despite our differences, it's good to have someone who has a perception of migration from Europe, someone who has a perception of migration from America, and, and someone who's well-researched from their anger and... It really makes everything wonderful. For example, you can read a book, you can read a magazine about different cultures and different people from whatever, but if you are always with that, your teammates and when you are debating with them, you have to really understand what they want to talk about and they are from different countries, they are just, they are thinking different and you have to understand everything because you want to work together it's really different understanding to that culture as you're just reading about something okay so uh, have you ever met uh, someone uh, someone before uh, like from those countries that uh, you are now in a mix uh, in a mixed team like for example have you ever met someone from Zimbabwe or Slovakia like the same question for all of you guys uh, well, actually, I've never met anyone from Zimbabwe or Slovakia before, or actually, um, probably most of the people at this track, this mixing track, I've um, been pretty like secluded to uh, basically Korean Americans, Americans, and just generally like people around me in my town because I don't usually travel that much, and I thought it was a pretty interesting experience to meet all these people because. Um, Usually, like all I know, all I used to know was what I saw in the media, like what we see on television. But then, after meeting these people, you you like kind of recognize that there's a lot of things we don't really know about them, and like the the hasty generalizations you make about each culture usually actually aren't true. So that's just one thing I learned about people on this track. Well, I've met someone from America, but I've never met someone from Slovakia. Though I really enjoy the lifestyle I see about the people in Slovakia on TV. Now what I like now with the Americans, it's actually not as what we see on TV, you know, them being snobs, them feeling they're up there. Brian is very humble, Brian is really hard working. He's not what I see on TV, he's the Brian <laughs> from America, a very good debater. And not what I really enjoy about the Slovakians, she's actually more willing to take part in everything. She doesn't understand, she asks. If we don't understand, we ask. And this is the whole idea of teamwork being expressed by my fellow teammates. I had some friends from America, but really not from Zimbabwe. <laughs> but what is interesting, we met so many people here. If I want to travel around the world, I, have, I really can call everybody from here because I have friends in every country. We were talking to each other and also other teams in our group. And it is really exciting, like, I would like to come to every of the countries, <laughs> so it will be exciting. How your opinion about the country change, actually, when you're now having 
extreme for, for the Zimbabwe because like in the European media all about you hear about Zimbabwe is Mugabe and nothing else so we don't know a lot about uh, about other things that are going on uh, in Zimbabwe so what, what what have changed in your opinion what new things you learn about the country that now when you're uh, facing or, or experience the, the real people from from that country all right, well, uh, first of all, I actually know nothing about Slovakia other than what I've recently learned from my teammate. So, pretty much, I didn't really change my opinion as much as I just gained one. But for uh, Zimbabwe, I actually never heard of Mugabe before, but uh, my, uh, my conception of Zimbabwe was that basically there's, there was a lot of poverty. There's, um, like, people usually, uh, people like to mention things like oh, they may not be as educated or, like, things, it was, like, basically negative um, things that I was uh, perceiving when I was in America. But then, after coming to this track, I realized that my teammate's probably more intelligent than I am. <laughs> and, uh, generally, like, they can be great speakers, great thinkers. It just, it really isn't, um, more, isn't, it isn't isolated to certain countries. Like, I feel like as, uh, I feel as though that after meeting these people, I just realized that they aren't really different from us. Or actually, I might even say that they're smarter than us. <laughs> but that's as far as what I've learned so far. Okay. Well, speak of America. You see all the human rights violations. You see how great the entertainment industry is. You see how fun and exciting those people are. But now when I meet Brian King from the US, I discover actually there's a deeper side, a better side of the children and the youth from America that he is representing here. I learn how it is important. Trust me, he is a well-researched young man. He knows his everything in and out. How it is important for you know a debater to be well informed. I and I now understand from the American perspective that it is important to work hard, whatever it is. Even if you prepare a full debate and discover, okay, it's off topic. You need to start again because at the end of the day, you reap good results. So I've learned a lot from. Uh, I've changed. I've changed the way I view America. There's more to the young people from America than the fun part of them that we see on TV. And then speak of Slovakia. I don't understand that. Okay, these are fellow Europeans. They understand debate. I mean, debate usually is there are more uh, debate competitions in Europe than in other countries except for America. So I like the way they think. I like the way they they, they just know their skill. They are well skilled. They understand where they're going. They understand where they're coming from. And because of that experience from uh, from what they've been through as you know a Slovakia, it really makes it better for me to learn from them. Despite the fact that I know they have good dancers and it's very cold. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you ask somebody in Slovakia, like, what do you think about America, if they want to study there or something, usually they answer no, because I think that impact of TV and so on is like, everybody thinks mostly negative things about them. And exactly when I'm working with Brian, we are just, we're just calling him like, Brian, <laughs> brain of the team. <laughs> He's cool. Really, he knows many things. and. We just learn each other from each other. It's it's great, it's great opportunity to be here with the other teams. Exactly. Before I came here, I really t didn't know where Zimbabwe is. <laughs> like I know it's Africa and so on, but not exactly like on the map, you know. But really, when I'm also I have one um, uh, roommate with from Uganda, and when you talk with the people, you really can see the difference. We are all, all of us are human, but there is so much difference, like how they live, how they spend their time, and really, if somebody say you're Africa, you just think about mostly negative and forced countries, but it's not like that. There are really brave people which can can live the same life as you live. It's really great to be here and just have somebody as this, and our team, and just have fun. <laughs> is this your first time to work in a, a group of people that are coming from different backgrounds and how challenging you find this uh, task that you're doing here at the uh, IDEA Youth Forum? Uh, well, 
like kind of like I said before, I actually knew nothing about Slovakia, so yeah, <laughs> I've never been in a group like this before. But um, as far as it's challenging to be with my teammates, I don't really think it's challenging at all because, um. oh, well, because um, initially like one requirement of coming to this youth forum is that you have to be able to speak English, and I think that just that ability to speak the language makes it really easy for us to communicate because we can talk about our countries, we can talk about what we think, and because because we've been here for so long before we like started this mixing track because we've already been talking to these people every day before we got into this team in the first place, like this kind of let us get used to um, all the different cultures that um, that Veronica talked about, like how even though we recognize that they're all different, we uh, we. We realize that fundamentally, all these people are the same, and like we can, we can talk about a lot of things. Like we can talk about aspirations that we have in the future, like exactly what we want to be, or just things we're interested in. And then I think that that kind of makes it really easy to integrate into the team. And I'm from reviewing the cases. Well, not really, but we are considering to do so because now we are we are sort of like a family. A family does put up for one thing, which is debate, and debate to an extent is a lifestyle. So as we as we leave debate, the other things we'll have to do together, like today we're going to have supper together, today we're going to meet together at the hotel, we're going to do everything together, we have to. Because I believe, you know, teamwork is not built by just you preparing the case and going teamwork also comes back to, to to understanding your teammates even from a social perspective understanding what they like how they react to certain situations such that even in a debate you're able to tell what's up or, or what's happening or, or how to solve that problem they've made a mistake so how do I correct it it's all built through the other part of our lives which is the social aspect <laughs>